Stalin Nelda's son, Yakov Iosifovich Djukashvili, was born in March 1907 in a Georgian village of Baji. Yakov's mother, Ekaterina Svanidze, died eight months after the birth of her son. Yakov lived with his sister Alexandra until he was 14, and in 1921 Stalin took his son to Moscow. After school, Yakov graduated from the Sekolniki Electrotechnical School with the secondary special education. Things were not easy for Yakov in love. He secretly married a priest's daughter. After secretly marrying the priest's daughter, Stalin became enraged. The conflict with his son ended in attempted suicide of the latter. After his recovery, Yakov and his wife left for Leningrad, where Yakov Jugashvili got a job as an assistant electrician. In 1930, at his father's request, Yakov returned to Moscow, especially since young Jugashvili's marriage had broken up after his daughter's death. In the capital, Stalin's son graduated from the Institute of Transport Engineers, then worked at the power plant named after Stalin, duty engineer turbines. At the insistence of his father, Yakov in 1937 entered the artillery academy, after which he was appointed battery commander. With the beginning of the war, Stalin's son at the front as a battery commander of the Hauser Regiment of the Tank of the 20th Army. A week later, on July 4th, the regiment was surrounded. During the breakthrough, Yakov Jugashvili was taken prisoner. He was interrogated for the first time on July 18, 1941. Then there were years of wandering through camps. The Bavarian Hamelberg, a concentration camp in Lübeck, and in 1942, Chukashvili was transferred to the concentration camp Sachsenhausen. There the theory that Hitler tried to exchange Stalin's son for a captured Field Marshal Paus, but there is no documentary evidence of this. As for the death of Yakov Jugashvili, the basic version is that he was killed while trying to escape in April 1943. According to the recollection of the campers, Yakov threw himself on the fence wire and died of electrocution. His corpse was burned in a crematorium. According to some versions, the urn was buried and the grave of Stalin's son was tended by officers of the Red Army after the victory. According to another version, the urn, with the documents of his death, was stolen from the General Directorate of Imperial Security of the Third Reich. 